What's up, y'all? Just got the call this morning. Going to uh, Australia. Fight an Aussie. And, um... Yeah, so I got the call this morning. Um, going to Australia. Leaving Monday. Um, I don't know who I'm fighting. I don't know... Uh, I just found out that the organization is XMMA, um, as an extreme, with an X as an X-ray, MMA, and I'm going down there with Daniel Cormier, I'm going down there with Mike Kyle and Crazy Bob Cook. <clears throat> we leave Monday, gonna fight on Saturday, and um, that's all I know, that's all I know right now. You know, besides the fact that it was my teammate's fight, and I guess he was getting ready for the fight and left his passport out, you know, getting everything ready. And the dog chewed it up. <laughs> so, yeah, he couldn't get a passport in time, so I slid right in there. And uh, that's how you got to do it sometimes. You just got to slide in there be ready to go. So I'm excited. I've never been to Sydney. And so I got, I've been in kind of uh, not sure if I'm going to be there. I've been in a state of not knowing if I'm going to get the fight or not and uh, so I got the, the email this morning that I am getting the fight and then um, you know, I got up I went to practice I went to jujitsu I did sparring practice came home same routine you know did my, uh, had a private lesson today um, taught that and now I'm I'm dressed in my uh, work clothes because I have to go uh, pay the bills go bounce at a bar tonight probably gonna sleep in tomorrow hit mitts and then uh, go work at the bar tomorrow night and then uh, be worn out Sunday just pack up for the trip got to do uh, another private lesson and uh, probably uh, I need to probably get another mitt session in on Sunday too uh, but definitely have to pack up be ready to go and uh, leave Monday thinking about you know I'm obviously excited about it and uh, but I don't know anything about the guy. Uh, my teammate said he's 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 a tough guy, more of a brawler style. So with not a lot to go on, I'm just you know looking at keeping myself sharp, staying on the same uh, game plan that my coach and I have been going on, and, and getting things sharpened that way. And uh, that's really all I got to go by. You know, just keep pushing hard in what we're doing. Try try to get it. I, I need to try to get the name of the guy so I can find out. A little bit about them, um, you know, kind of see what I'm up against. But I'm working out with the toughest guys in the world. I can't. I just, I looked on Sure Dog last night. Three guys that are in the top ten, pound for pound, Sure Dog's top ten list. I've worked out with recently, so um, that gives me a lot of confidence. So I feel real good about whoever, whoever it is, really. John Fitch is like number five. Jake Shields is like, I think six, six or seven, and then Leo Machida's seventh or eighth. So, I mean, those are all guys I've worked out with recently. This is bad, I shouldn't be in here, um, but I'm in a hurry, and I gotta grind something really fast. Sporting the beard for uh, No Shave November. <laughs> I'm ahead of the game. <laughs> Chicken, uh, chicken burrito. Okay. Rice is okay. Uh, rice, uh, black beans. Black beans. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, 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 I'm stoked, man. I don't even want to be going into work. I just want to go home, watch fight videos, and uh, chill out, and just rest up and work out tomorrow. So as soon as I found out, I posted on Facebook, and sure enough, my brother hits me up on there and says, "Oh, it's really nice." You know, to catch up with the family by their posts on Facebook, because he wasn't the first to know. Well, we would have more video, but the uh, the cameraman was a little late today. I'm on my way to work, and uh, I bounce at a bar, a local bar. Um, you know, it's just something to do to uh, to keep money coming in while I'm training. You know, it's it frees up my days and you know allows me to uh, to be a part of the practices and still you know get my my bills paid in between in between fighting. You know, right now you know it's just you know I gotta stay ready you know and uh, and and get fights like what I'm getting right now. Um, 
He'll be ready for those big opportunities. So bouncing seems to be uh, what everybody does. It's really it's frustrating a lot because you know I have my degree, I have my bachelor's, I have uh, graduate level courses, and I'm bouncing and I'm babysitting a bunch of adults. It's uh, it's frustrating. This is illegal. Don't do this at home. Or I mean, in a car. Let's see, extreme MMA. ExtremeMMA.com.au. Oh, they got Daniel. They got Daniel in the banner. Okay, here's Davin's fight. So I have his opponent, which is James Balcone. Balcono. I'm sure he's a nice guy. I'm very late going to work. Going from workout, rushing home to shower, get some food, put my feet up for like just a second, and then head back down, give a private lesson, rush to get some food, rush to get to uh, to, to work at the bar, and I'm running late. Uh, just you know, it all seems to domino on each, on each other. Fighting for a living, fighting in life, <laughs> fighting traffic. <laughs> Be like, I'm sorry, I'm late. By the way, I need to take off next week. <laughs> that involve like uh, you having a fight, you know? Yeah, you know they're they're really understanding actually. You know, whenever I have to take off, you know, for certain things like this. And that's why, you know, I, I tend to like work the holidays and things because I don't have like I don't have family out here. So if I can work the holidays, you know, and it helps them out, um, then when I need randomly need a day off, um, you know, I kind of expect them to be able to rise up to that. And they they, uh, they always have. So it's been great that way. Everybody's asking, you know, can I view this online? Is it pay-per-view? Um, you know, how can I see it? How can we watch it? Um, I just now got the name of the organization, so and I'm on my way to work, so I won't even be able to do any uh, legwork to find out on that stuff until tomorrow. Um, but hopefully, uh, hopefully everybody can see it. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. But now I gotta go to purgatory.